What is happening y'all? Cowboy here and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Rise build video as we take a look at the slickest weapon in the game, the bow. Now the bow is definitely the best it has ever been. We have lots of crazy new things that have been added to the bow kit, which is just fantastic. Uh, we have Power Shot, for example, now, which takes on the aspect of our bow, whether that's going to be spread or pierce or rapid. Uh, we have access to Dodge Bolt, which is just awesome. Look at the damage. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the damage I'm doing just while dodging. And not only that, but it serves as like an iframe dodge, which is fantastic. We have that aerial move you saw me open things up with, just a boom, 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 dunk on stuff. All in all, bow is in a fantastic spot and definitely a lot of fun to play. Uh, now, before we jump into it, I do want to touch on two things, because right now there are a couple aspects of bow which are bugged. Um, I don't think they're overtuned. I think they're bugged. I'm getting my information from people much better than myself with bow, uh, namely Femto and a couple of the other speedrunners in the community. But just to touch on these things, because it does impact what I'm doing with this build. I'm not going to be using Charging Sidestep because there's an animation cancel, and basically you're getting two attacks for the cost of one. So... Good chance that's going to be getting fixed. Don't want to touch on it. Uh, the other thing is I'm doing a physical bow build here as opposed to elemental because currently uh, the consensus is that the elemental damage calculation is also bugged. And basically elemental builds are getting like an extra 25% damage for free because of how the math is working out, which more than likely is not intentional. So I didn't want to do elemental and, you know, showcase a run that is is you know more than likely going to be nerfed um but physical bow is actually pretty good in rise so you know that's the good news uh but to take a look at the the full slowdown here we went up to attack boost level four to get that percentage increase wex three of course to target weak points constitution i'd suggest at least at level three uh wrap it up is going to be our arrow choice here to kind of touch on this because i know we looked at this with the light bow gun normal being our normal shots with light bow gun wrap it up is kind of the normal shot for bow so bow you can go uh rapid spread or pierce and that's what the wrap it up refers to here but you want that at level three obviously reload speed two is very much just quality of life uh our our coding is automatically loaded kind of similar to bow gun ammo which is nice uh bow charge plus We'll be talking about that, but this is necessary. So your primary skills here are going to be Bow Charge Plus, Normal Up 3, Constitution at least 3, Wex 3. And then the icing on the cake here, of course, is Attack Boost 4 and Reload Speed 2. So just to touch on Reload Speed 2 real fast, you'll notice uh, usually with the bow you have to tap, you have to hit X to put on your coating. And you'll notice like that, if I'm standing still, how it actually applies. Um, I can just swap and it's changing the coating that I have on. That is what you get from having two gems of reload speed. And since it's a level one decoration, it's just nice quality of life, in my opinion. Uh, but to take a look at everything we are rolling in particular, Rampage Bow. The Rampage Bow is actually pretty nice. Uh, it's used in a couple of the elemental lineups as well. But you can just, uh, I mean, the, the customization of the Rampage weapons is, is obviously the most attractive feature of them. But with something like the bow, it's especially cool because you can choose basically everything um you know we took attack boost on it you can take non-elemental boost or an element of choice you can pick the firing whether you want rapid spread or pierce you can pick coating so i went with power and blast and then you can pick your arc shot as well so very much a custom bow to your liking uh, and of course i can't do it here but you can change the color on the rampage bows to actually kind of make it you know custom for you whatever you want um so solid choice here and there's actually a couple instances of people kind of using the rampage bow in elemental setups because it still has pretty respectable damage even when you put an element on it um, but you know basically a good all-around choice moving down from there mighty bow feather we absolutely need this this is going to give us a additional level of charge which is beefy uh to to kind of talk about that real fast um that extra charge level is is huge just shooting the head here right charge level one charge level two charge level three charge level four so that's big that's big. Uh, bow Charge Plus obviously allowing us to do that, so that's fantastic. Uh, and to get Bow Charge Plus, you're going to have to do some arena quests. In particular, you need to fight Rajang in the arena and Baryoth in the arena. Um, it took me one Rajang run and then two Baryoth runs, I believe, or maybe it was two and two, but, you know, uh, those are one faint quests. You don't need to get gold or anything on them. You can get silver or bronze. Uh, so just do those quests. You'll get the mats. You'll get your Mighty Bow Feather. 
Moving down, the shell studded vest. This is a fantastic piece, whether you're going for pierce with like the Nargabo or normal. Um, you know, we have normal and pierce up on it, obviously, and then two slots, which I've put reload speed into. Just a good value piece for Bow. Kadachi bracers. This is the real value. Triple constitution on one piece of gear. This is absolutely phenomenal for the bow. Uh, you could go constitution four if you're not interested in attack boost. Uh, constitution four is a little bit cozier. I would consider constitution three to be the bare minimum. Uh, we went with Scalda, of course, for the double weakness exploit. And that's because of the talisman that I got. Uh, Hunter's Greaves, of course, ramping our attack even more. And then we have my beautiful talisman here, double rapid up one wex. This was just, as soon as I got this, I'm like, well, I guess I got to do a rapid bow build because that is a nice roll. Um, but once again, because that's such a nice roll, just to reiterate, uh, if you don't have, you know, a god talisman like that, your priorities here are going to be bow charge, which is going to be your helm. You're going to want wrap it up, which you can get from a couple different pieces. You're going to want to have constitution at least level three. And ideally, you want to have weakness exploit at level three because it's really easy for us to target and hit the head. Uh, the, the level four attack boost, that's just icing on the cake here. I would not consider that to be necessary, which allows you to swap up uh, your hunter's greaves. You know, you can move a couple things around here and still get something close to this. Uh, but to talk about the switch skills real fast, power shot versus absolute power shot. This really comes down to your experience level with bow. Um, a lot of folks actually consider bow to be probably the hardest weapon to master in terms of skill level, just because it is very much a stamina dance and being able to optimize your rotation and making sure you're not out of stamina to get the highest amount of damage potential. Uh, it, it is something that requires a lot of skill. Uh, Absolute power shot kind of throws you for a loop in that regard because it's going to make your power shots cost more stamina. So if you were just learning bow, I'd recommend using power shot initially until you're more familiar with your stamina management. I do like absolute power shot. I am not good enough with the bow to really run it. I end up uh, going dry on stamina a lot when I was working with it. So instead I went back to regular. As for dodgeable or charging sidestep, um, even the, the, the glitch aside that gives you the two for one shot, I just really like dodgeable. What's great about this is it's an iframe dodge. So if you dodge through an attack with it, uh, you'll instantly get up to level three charge. So from one to three, just for timing your dodge appropriately. That is crazy. And on top of that, you get a free attack when you do it. It allows you to be right up on a monster's face and just you just dodge right through them. Uh, charging sidestep is what we had in World and Iceborne. So, you know, if you, if you like the familiarity of it, it's cool. But I, I really recommend giving dodgeball to try. This thing is crazy. Aerial aim or focus shot. I personally think focus shot is garbage. Uh, aerial aim allows you to put out absurd amounts of damage. You can, of course, dive and stab stuff in the head, too, which I probably almost never do. Uh, but it's just a really cool, cool ability. And it's a great kind of finisher to our combo that's capable of doing some really heavy hits. So just for example, you know, uh, this is my level four shot. So 78 and 98s. And to build up to that, and then I'm going to do an aerial and show the, the damage difference. So one, two, three, four. You can see those are hitting up in 100 pluses. I almost always miss the first attack with it, but, you know, it is what it is. Of course, you can dive and then do the aerial diving melee attack there. Uh, so, you know, your initial shot depends. Like, if you're shooting from here, it's going to be really easy to get that. But if you're aiming from, from back here, it takes a little bit of practice to, to get the third shot. Uh, which, as you can see, one of the things, like, I tend to aim too soon a lot when I jump. Trying to aim down and then... Try, you know, basically use your right stick to tilt downward and then aim for shots two and three and you'll end up getting the third shot more often. Um, but besides that, bow is, is you know, uh, it's pretty simple. As we shoot, we build up charges. Obviously with dodging, we don't, this does not build up our, our charge level, but it will maintain our charge level. So once we're up to level four, we're able to just keep doing dodge bullet and maintain it. In general, what you're going to want to do uh, for a full damage combo it will be one, one, two, three, four, power shot, power volley. And then you could, of course, go into Dragon Piercer if you want, but we're going to very rarely use Dragon Piercer. Um, if you wanted to go for something a little bit faster, you can go those two, power shot, power volley, and then jump into the air for the big damage off of those three shots. Now, obviously, keep in mind, uh, it is very easy to kind of burn through your wire bugs uh, with a bow to, to get those, those out, but you can get a lot of damage with those aerial hits. Um, but that's going to basically cover the gist of it. You know, bow is, like I said, it's really fun to play right now. Um, 
You know, I, I saved it for last just because I'd, I'd been kind of intimidated by all the changes that I had heard. But I'm actually really enjoying bow. Uh, I think there's there's a good chance I may end up making some some elemental damage setups with it and kind of messing around more with it just because I really like that aerial. You know, just ba bomb, ba bomb, bust, just lots and lots of damage coming out. But either way, let's jump into a hunt and show you what it can do. So for a hunt, we're going to be going after a Bishatin, which isn't exactly a hard monster, but similar to my run with Charge Blade. Uh, bow is another weapon that, frankly speaking, I don't think I am that good at bow. Uh, it's definitely, out of all the weapons in Monster Hunter, I think a bow is the weapon that I have the least experience with. Um, but I think I, I do better with it than I do with, uh, compared to my, my Charge Blade skills and Rise, which are disastrous. Uh, so one thing I want to point out for bow is uh, these guys over here. These, these beautiful stamina usage down butterflies, those are huge. Like your best friend with bow. Just do that real fast. Grab this as well. Uh, so I like to start things off with blast. Now obviously I added blast into my setup. You know, you don't have to use blast. I, I just, you know, I want to stress that that blast is very much something that I just, I really like blast. So, uh, you know, paralysis, poison, whatever tickles your pickle, baby, go for it. Ah, trying to dodge too late. Yamars, help me! Good job, Harley Cat. right there this is what i'm talking about i'm just a better bow player would have not allowed his stamina to get that low i am not a better bow player i could probably get by if i use dash juice i'd probably be better off but So you probably won't notice me using Dragon Pierce at all. I just, I mean, I will. I, to be fair, on a monster this size, Dragon Pierce really ain't worth it. Ah! Stop running away from me. Let me give you the full force of my bow. Oh no. Oh, Meowmer's got paralyzed trying to rescue me. That's all up to Harley Cat now. his ass over to Rajang. Okay. Round two of grabbing all the goodies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
That's one of my favorite things of Rise, it's just all the, like, the stuff like that, you know, the various buffs that you can run around and grab. And they don't last a ton of time, but... I should probably use that more, too. Ready for capture already. Damn. I just noticed. Come on. Come this way. What's that? Looks like it's pretty close to sub 5, too. Damn, 551. So sub 6, still. Um, not too bad of a hunt. And, you know, if nothing else, I think this, this kind of shows. Like I, like I said, I consider myself. Uh, very much a novice hunter with a bow. I mean, I, I, you know, I know the general idea. I understand how it plays. I don't think I'm very good at it. Um, and even then, a sub six minute, I think it just goes to show that, you know, somebody that's, that's more experienced with bow, it's going to put in some work uh, and rise. So either way, that is going to wrap things up. And with this video done, we have now covered all of the weapons in rise. But rest assured, there is more to come. Uh, you know, Monster Hunter is a game that obviously is like a fine wine. It just gets better with age. And we have Camellios and Apex Wrath and a bunch of other things on the horizon. So once we get more content, I'll be jumping in, doing more builds. Um, you know, in particular, I want to I wanna try out Elemental Bow after that's been patched up. Maybe Elemental Charge Blade, Elemental Sword and Shield. And then a couple other neat things, you know. I might do like a, you know, an exhaust focus switch axe type build or... Or, uh, you know, new types of gunning builds. But anyway, we're going to wrap things up here for now. So appreciate the support on all these build videos. Hopefully it, you know, got you interested in a weapon that you might not have considered before. And hopefully you find yourself having fun. So thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all next time.